I'm back with another Heathkit HW101 mystery. I get a lot of these rigs in the shop and there's a good reason for that. They're very popular and they're enduring. They last a long time. They don't always work very well though after being on the shelf for 50 years or in the garage or the barn. So um, I'm gonna show you a little something today. Call it a five minute restoration quickie. We're in lower sideband and this radio has really tinny audio. Compare that to upper sideband. You can really tell the difference. It almost sounds like the CW filter is engaged. So what could it be? This problem is often caused by a sideband crystal that has drifted off frequency. Y3 is for CW and tune, Y2 is lower sideband, and Y1 over here, that's for upper sideband. They have very specific frequencies and you have to get very close to that frequency. And unfortunately, crystals have a tendency to drift with age. How do we know what the frequency of that crystal is? Well, it should be, for lower sideband, it should be 3393.6. You've got a frequency counter you can check it by putting the probe of the frequency counter on the the center pin of the carrier null control right there so i'm going to go in there we are 600 hertz off that is definitely enough to create frequency offset that will distort the audio. So what do we do about that? Well, I'm going to pull crystal Y2, that one, and it's pretty easy. Let's turn this off. These are the pads for that crystal, and I'm going to heat them up, walk that crystal out of there. All right, old crystal's out. And in comes the new one. Okay, new crystal is in. Let's see what happens. Listen to the difference in that audio. Let's test the crystal. Look at that. Well, we fixed lower sideband. Let's go back to upper sideband, see if we can get something going there. I'm not really excited about this audio quality. Three, three, nine, five, seven. And we want to be at three, three, nine, six, four. Yeah, man, we're off, way off. Let's swap that crystal. And that is Y1 right here. That's our upper sideband crystal. Here's our new crystal. Guess what? That crystal is so off, I'm not even seeing a frequency on it. And I know it's bad because I've got it in Calibrate. I don't hear anything. Go to lower sideband. So there's a completely dead crystal. Let's try another one. Okay, I know this one works because I took it off of my own HW101. That's what you call devotion, people. All right, let's see what happens. There we go. Perfect. And how does it sound? Awesome. All right. That's my five minute tip for the day. So there is a way if we needed to bring the frequency of that crystal down, we could have added some capacitance to the circuit just a little. And you can only move the frequency of that crystal so much, but that wasn't the case here. We needed to bring that frequency up and uh, 
replacing the crystal is what did it. So, another victory. They sound so good when they work, right? Uh, I'll put a link right there. If you need to order crystals, go to Earl. He's a good guy. If he doesn't have them, you may have to go to eBay and they are pricey. Look at about 20 bucks for one of those crystals. The shipping, it's insane. Um, what else was I gonna say? Oh, and if you don't have a frequency counter, there are some cheap uh, frequency counters on eBay. They're little kits from China. They're like 20 bucks and they will measure the frequency of your crystal cheaply. So check them out, 73.